Okay. Uh, I originally planned to not play any music here, but still gotta share share the link some places. Let's see what song we get. Oh, gr awesome! We get this one. I love this song. Sorry for the silence. This is another instance where them keeping something from the Japanese release. Well, it's not as obvious as in X6, but yeah, just having this song instrumental without the Japanese vocals is still awesome. I can't believe I was tricked by Legacy 2 thinking that this song was... didn't exist. Because they replaced it, because it's... I guess it's copyrighted. Just like... I don't know. Is that everyone? Uh... What is this? YouTube name? I just got an email about it. What? Wow, you sh he showed up earlier than I thought. I, w I expected him to stop by because it's Mega Man. I kind of wanted to share something, but eh. Um, how much longer of a song? Another minute. Eh, we're gonna cut it. You stay. You stay there. 
Oh, wow, I completely forgot the... Uh, this thing here. I don't have anything from Mega Man and Base, so... Next best thing. Now let's have Lumine. <laughs> the, the OG. I just love this gif. I kind of want this to be my main one. Because it's just so silly and just awesome. <sighs> okay. Will I still be going in three hours? Maybe. Alright, let's get this running. I have Nemo next to me. Oh yeah, speaking of Nemo, my mom's gonna take him out because she has time and she wants to do that. I mean, I don't mind it. I, I'm too busy with this <laughs> at the moment. Um, yeah, let's just start this thing. You have to hold the power button, I remember. This thing is really cool, but man, was it hard to get used to the buttons. Uh, speaking of buttons, this controller is pretty clicky and loud. Is it... Hold up. Will you work, please? <laughs> uh... Oh, there we go. Hey, it fits with the background, too. So... Yeah, it's pretty much an emulator for physical games, like I said. I really like it, but man, was it a lot to get used to at first. There are like six buttons, because the Genesis controller has three, and then there's a second row above it, I think. Yeah, it says on the side what games are compatible. Uh already set all this up. I'm gonna use this a lot going forward. I already have one game in mind that I'm... if I'm gonna get it soon, I'll have to ask uh, to lend money. Because <laughs> I spent... I already spent a lot on the console itself. Wow! Oh my god, it's a bot we've never seen before. <laughs> I really like that. You you haven't said anything yet that revealed your presence. I like that. <laughs> Welcome, Asher. I keep I keep forgetting if that's what you want me to call you or if it's uh, um yeah, in the game menu you just have you can download sheets off onto the SD card and yeah it's literally an emulator heck even the controller I have like the one that comes with it has two control two buttons that I've set for save save state and load state sadly this is pretty much all you can do just put in a game and then these options oh well god that's loud oh I forgot that it's a Game Boy game uh, Every time I do this... Okay, there's no sound now. Cool. <clears throat> it is still too loud for me. There we go, there we go. That should work. 
Yeah, this controller doesn't have a D-pad, which I wasn't a big fan of at first, but... I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna make a new game, because... The bosses with base... I mean, I... No joke, I went through Groundman stage, like, seven times in a row, because I had such a burning vendetta against him. Yet I never came out on top. I even bought extra lives before then. Now when I... Oh yeah. Now when I have save state powers... I don't mind going with Mega Man. Yeah, rest in peace Game Boy Player. This is gonna be my <laughs> main way of streaming. GBA Game Boy games now. I mean, the, the options alone. It says snapshot for some reason, but it's a uh, state. Yeah, this alone makes it much better. Especially for streaming. Because if you know me, I can get stuck at a game being hard. Something really nice is that I'll, I'll be able to have the dash. Because I know Ground Man requires you to dash with base. And dashing with base is so awful for me because I, I suck at mashing buttons. You have to s quickly double tap um, either left or right. And it's just such a strict timing. I hate it. So Grandman's gonna be a lot more manageable, just holding down, pressing jump, to slide. So I don't have to pause the game to make it easier for me. I like these guys, They're, they were in Mega Man 1, I remember. be the home of these guys, because it's probably the most of these guys you see in any game. I'm just gonna go through. Yeah, I feel... I'm fine with using save states for this game, because it's... It's harder than the NES version because of screen crunch. The SNES version is one of the hardest Mega games. Heck, I only I spent like four hours on the game last stream, maybe three. I only beat two bosses in the whole time. <laughs> like the second one took me so many tries, and Cold Man is no big deal. You just have to make the pattern. Another reason why I want to go with Mega Man is because I already have a file from the last guessing the last person who owned the game. With all the weapons and all the Roll Masters gone from the base. But nothing for Mega Man because that person knew this game is built for base. This is cool though. Oh yeah, you can even Insert like uh, what was it? Uh, uh, uh. NES, SNES, and Genesis controllers. Like there's two slots on each side. It's really cool. Oh, I knew it. Go, you! I swear to God. I swear to. God. Pretty sure I didn't have much trouble against him last time. Oh yeah, I had the double jump. Oh, Joe. Yeah, the game I was talking about that I may or may not get soon is um uh, the re-release of Wily Wars, where you get a 
modernized cartridge. So I'm gonna cover Mega Man 1 through 3. Not on the NES, but the competitors. Aside. I think it's fitting because Mega Man 1 through 3, Genesis, 4 through 6, NES. Plus, Wily Wars, Wily Wars versions are more interesting because it's not exactly... I mean, it's the Genesis version of Mega Man 1 through 3. Plus, it has a unique part where you get to... where you get to choose your weaponry from the three games. That alone is... a huge selling point. Oh no. <laughs> hey! Notice that's the dog, the hot dog enemy from two. It's just a scratch. <laughs> well, good thing you didn't lose your arm as well, because then you would have you would have had to repair yourself. Oh, I still love this boss team. I mean, no surprise, the original is, um, Supreme. This is just way too high pitched. I don't know what it is, if it's the bass they tried to, like, their version of the GBA bass. There's just something in all these songs that really gets annoying. You can hear it in almost every song. Wow, I can't believe this game. I can't believe this game. Mega Man and Base. One of the hardest classic games has the easiest devil. <laughs> I'm gonna have some sweet revenge on you, sir. Not now. This guy is supposed to be a freezer, or like... <laughs> I've forgotten what he's supposed to be. Let's get a safe state there. <sighs> yeah. Pretty much. Base. Base. Um, over Mega Man. Easier time in stages. Mega Man over Base. Easier time with bosses. And with how much trouble I had with Ground Man alone, I think I'd prefer going with Mecha. <laughs> oh boy, so many times I'm gonna fall into a pit and wish I was base. Hey! Damn screen punch. Well, at least they, they have some... They have some, uh, parts for me, or something. It's a nice stage, though. Definitely better than the Mega Man 8 counterpart. Look, it even gives you an extra life. Yeah, this stage is obviously built upon Frost Man. And if you know why Frostman is infamous, then... Yeah... Eh! Already have this. Oh no! I'm pretty sure I just shot like this last time. With base, so now I have charge shots, making it easier. Oh! I'm pretty sure base could only do one damage in between frame or invincibility frames. You guys, you are still tricky though.
You know, the only thing this console is missing, or this controller is missing, is uh, turbo. <laughs> you even have the option to fast forward. And like, oh my god, there's so many options you can have with the two buttons. I'll I'll uh, showcase them. Now. I'll showcase them now. Let's see how many options there are. I'm gonna go down to them. So we have save state, load state, fast forward, cycle filter, next state slot, previous state slot, toggle scan lines, toggle over scan, cycle aspect ratio, volume up, <laughs> volume down. Mute audio, take screenshot, toggle pixel perfect scaling. Yeah. <sighs> I'm surprised this. I haven't really know. Well, I am wearing headphones, so. It might be very loud for you, very noticeable for you guys. Pretty sure a disc was in here. Oh! I almost thought I was going into the water. Pool. Aren't these guys known for dying in one hit? Why are this why is it two hits here? Pretty sure on the NES games they die in one hit. Oh, they're still adorable, though. Like, they are the most cutesy, har harmless-looking enemies ever. No wonder they became the mascot enemy. Uh, I noticed something good down here. Most likely... One up. Uh, that's not it. Wait, what? Oh, this could be crunch. I'm not gonna go there because I'm pretty sure that's just where a disc has been. Yeah, this one's just given to you as well. No wonder people go after this stage first. Ow. Oh yeah, and another good reason about Mega Man is I'm pretty sure one of his abilities he gets, like unique abilities, is a way to heal. Like, this game is only really, like, much harder than the others, just because of lack of healing. Yeah, no wonder why Mega Man 2, the game that introduced the uh, energy tanks, is seen as one of the easiest. Ah, uh, I got crushed. <laughs> I can't expect that. Wait. Oh, I was pressing select. There we go. <laughs> They're literally the same button. Like, look the exact same. I didn't look at the control when I pressed it. It just... Ah. <sighs> oh, I thought that was a pit. Thank god it wasn't. Yeah, this part is pretty much just like Frostman. Ah. Oh yeah, I have to jump on this one. What? That was a dumb death. Yeah, I can already tell uh, the thing they replaced with the SNES base. I don't know how to describe it, it's a very crunchy sound. It really gets tiring real quick. Screw it. I like how Mega Man, <laughs> Mega Man becomes lime green when he charges. I don't know, it feels out of place with him being blue and turning green. Could you spare a snack, please? I'm very hungry. I know you got a menu. 
have some ice cream. What? Uh, what? I don't remember that. Oh, I didn't save state, damn it. Oh yeah, that's how this boss fight works. Yet I failed to jump. Dang it, I'll just do this. Oh, that's good. See, the bosses are much more... The charge shot really makes up for... Bases, uh... Dude! Dude! No! <laughs> I would've had it, man. <laughs> that's embarrassing. I died to the easiest boss. Yeah, because this guy doesn't have a billion attacks like the other ones. Like, Ground Man is the worst with that. Like, oh my god, he wouldn't stop. It's almost like, uh... Ground Man is literally just like the boulder. Can you back off a little bit? That was too early. Yeah, the boulder guy from Metroid Prime I, I beat last stream. I think it was last stream. I beat him second to last. Well, he was just way too quick and way too dangerous. Ugh. I know Burner Man is the same by just going into you. That's literally what. That's why this guy is easy, because he stays put. He doesn't approach you. Oh god, Ground Man. I really like the ice wall though. It's a fun weapon. If you think about it, it's pretty much the web spider weapon from X4, but instead of wall jumps, it's... Where was I going with this? It has a similar function. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did so bad against the bosses with base that I went through... I beat Cold Man. And then I went through all these... The four stages from I had access to and failed at each boss multiple times. Until I decided... Oh. Ground Man's last. And then I, and then I just couldn't stop refining him. It wasn't because I was excited, it was because I hated him so much that I wanted him dead. I did manage to beat Pirate Man, but that didn't lead. Did I unlock Dynamo Man because of that? I should have went for him. I tried him. I don't know. Astro Man... Astro Man is the copy vision. This Dynamo Man has the screen. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try to go... Probably should have bought something. I beat this guy last time with a lot of trial and error. I do like how different this song is to the original game. It's just high pitchy Game Boy. And the original is more atmospheric, I guess. Ah. These guys are so annoying. Every game they appear in. And you need always need one they're always only weak to one or two weapons. That's the worst part. So you have to... If it's a weapon you get late, like one of them, one of the two, you get them late, then you... You can't handle them for the longest time. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, you guys, these guys were the ones that were just so annoying, I think. I noticed an enemy in this stage. God damn it, I didn't save stage. I have the power to make it easier. Why am I not? I'm forgetting about it. Ah! It is an, it is an effective uh, placement, though. I can't deny that. Their shells remind me more of candy than a shell. I don't know, the stripe. <laughs> uh... Ah, oh, screw it. Oh yeah, I hated this last time right here. You literally have to take damage to get... Will you guys go away? Let's go over here. <laughs> There's more? Oh, come on. Well, pretty much have to take damage to... Oh, yeah. Fine. Thank God. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I remember it as take, having to take damage to get past the section. But Magma can just slide here. Oh my god, that is so much better. <laughs> no! I thought it would go back and forth. Oh, actually. Yeah, got it in time. This stage just a short as yeah, it's definitely the shortest. I'm pretty much halfway through already. It's just one big water section that leads into a close quarter section right here, then a big water section that's just huge, and then the boss. Go away. I keep forgetting. Ah! Here we go. I knew this was gonna come into place. Perfection to avoid damage. How the f <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really... Uh... Oh, come on. That would've been perfect. Oh, that's... Oh my god, that was perfect. Oh! Oh, I forgot about the wheel! Actually, the ice wall takes care of him faster. Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't trust that. No! Oh god. I panicked. Yeah, this is a huge section right here. I know I can get... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Dude! Get off. I noticed a chest coming up that... Uh... With how huge this section is, I'm pretty sure you need to re be really good with the bubble. Okay, I know this one drops health. Oh, game assignments were... Cool for once. And I... F Didn't happen. Does it exist? This, I'm very happy that this console is um, has save states because well, save states are are for emulators for a reason. Old games they they could they really well some instances you can't save normally. Like there's no saving at all or maybe password. How do I defeat this guy now? Really? I remember doing... Oh yeah. Oh, I can see now. 
I I had an easier time because of the double jump. No oh, wait, I can slide under him. I like that in this fight because with base you jump twice. Mega Man, you slide under. Yeah, it's safe to say that X series handle to playable characters better. Even though base is pretty dang cool. More gameplay wise, this character is pretty. Ow! Oh yeah, I remember now! You can break him out of the bubble before he starts. This boss team is still the best one in the series, in my opinion. Even with the GBA limitations. Destiny's version is much better though. I don't know, I just love this song. Probably the biggest stand out of Mega Man base. Probably uh, for the game as a whole. <laughs> Sorry to say that if you like the game, but you can't deny it wasn't like shit. Well, it was definitely destined not to be one because it's literally Japan only on a console that was no longer being a huge focus. Yeah, because this was after Mega Man 8. That's why everything looks like Mega Man 8. Because it's Mega Man 8 on the SNES. Uh, I don't get what they mean by... They wanted to... God damn it. Yep. <sighs> One came early. Well, not really early, just wasn't prepared for it. I took the opportunity to go to the bathroom. So... <laughs> <sighs> I really sucks when you... When you want to charge as much as possible, but... To spam to like break the bubble. It almost feels like going back to base, which is bad because <laughs> this time I don't have to double jump. Oh my god, this is gonna be worse than base, I think. Feel. <sighs> I'll do a couple more tries. I was about to press the new state. Okay. God dang it. 
I just want to break the bubble for the first time. Are you... How are you supposed to get down here fast enough? It's water, dang it. I mean, that's pretty smart, though. The boss being water-based. This guy's pretty unique, though. A water robot master that's not... Pirates are water, I guess. Okay. No! Oh, I wanted to say, but... Well, it was a matter of time, because this is... This is the... This is how it is with save states. Sometimes you... Save over, or sometimes you load when you don't want to. I can't believe save states is just what I need. I can't beat this game now. Save states, pretty much. Why? Oh, that's great. That's great. No! The fuck? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make the first one shoot there, and then... Like so. No! Okay, as soon as I get the save out, I don't have to worry when I go back, because... Okay, this works. Oh my god, I was close! Good boy. Ow. Oh, oh, oh! Charge! No! Oh my god. Dude. Dude, give me some space! Ooh! He tricked me into jumping in there. Now that was my fault, because he shoots where I go, so... This game was more expensive than a PS2 game, an N64 game, and you have more than half the cost when I bought this. Oh, oh he's almost dead! No. When I bought this game, it was pretty much half the cost was for this game when it included an Xbox game, a PS2 game, and I have the receipt, I should see how much it was. And it wasn't complete in a box, only... Yeah, it was the only one that wasn't complete in the box. I was surprised when I got the N64 game in the box, because I don't have any N64 games in boxes. Why did I bring this up? Uh, I ain't saving the state yet. You don't see- oh my god. <sighs> oh, I thought it was safe there. There we go. Ah! Okay, lift up the water, please. Be a good boy. Be a good predictable boy. Thank you. I'm gonna die now. Ah! Now you listen here. Your pirate... Your pirate days are over. It's time for you to grow up. <laughs> Pirates are cool, I'm not gonna deny that. Talking to him like he's my son. You need to eat your vegetables. <laughs> Enough with this pirate shenanigans! Do I do the safe state or no? No, I'm not. <laughs> you evil bastard! Oh, you smart bastard, I mean. No, you. F 
Oh, he's gonna reach water. Perfect. Hee! Hee hee! I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Shoot! <coughs> and that's how you beat him. Beat him without frustration. Use safe states. <laughs> oh my god, I went... I did... I beat this guy last time without save states. I love this weapon, though. Man, do, do I hate how much ammo it takes, especially against ground man. Because he's... 90% of the time, he's invulnerable. Either away from the screen, or... <sighs> and it drains, like... You can use, like, 12 of them, and that's it. And that's all you need for a ground man, but it's so easy to fail. That's why I went... why I went... got so mad against him. Well, speaking of ground man, let's actually... Let's actually get back to where we were. I'm gonna go after Groundman next, but first, I wanna get some bolts. I already gushed enough about this last stream. I just think this is a really neat idea. That ain't it. Okay, this is the remote line. Oh yeah, I, something I absolutely hated. <sighs> I hate how if you run out of ammo here, you don't get it back if you leave. So if you use, like I do, if you use up all the remote mine here and then go into ground man expecting to get him with the weakness, you can't, because the whole bar is drained. Why? Oh, come on. This is just like... X5. With the helmet, that has an unknown effect. Except this one isn't as long, but it's faster, so... I really like this though. I love safe state with the press of a button on the controller. This is my type of emulator right here, because I get to own the game physically, and I get to have the powers of emulation. This this console is awesome. <laughs> it's even better than I expected. It was also even bigger than I expected. What I got the box like the cardboard box uh, from the post service. It was like almost twice as big as I expected. Hell, it was so big that I couldn't bring the like the console box itself. I couldn't bring it home because I had a bag with me, like a backpack. So I gotta go get another Zyme. I, was, I did so good at the beginning. There we go. Isn't that supposed to be the one that Otto has? Like in 7? That he screws into his head? Hey! The two weapons I have are both on the same level. Oh, I love this idea so much. Like, imagine if every Mega Man game had this. Oh my god, that was... This is pretty much like Break the Targets from Smash. Speaking of which... I hate how Break the Targets hasn't been cool ever since Melee, because... With Brawl, it was the same stage no matter the character. I get that... I get that there are too many characters at this point, but... I mean, melee, 
Melee and 64 had two different ones, like break the targets and board the platforms. And I know 64 had at least. I mean, if they could do that, just... If, if they could do that with, like, Melee's roster, make two stages for every character, just make one break the target stage for every character in the game. Like an ultimate. That would be close to the amount of characters, so... It wouldn't really be that hard. I don't know, I just strangely really like Break the Targets in the first two Smash games. Senior Auto. Obviously this one, because this one's much more useful in this game than others. Uh, I remember being very useful in 7 and more, even more in 9. I don't know, with how the, with how the ammo is handled, I think if you beat a stage you get a refill or if you get a game over. But if you leave the stage, you don't refill your ammo, so... This one is really good in this game. I'm pretty sure I bought the S-Guard and didn't use it once. Well, this one would be really nice. getting an extra life because I'm, I'm gonna get back more if I get a game over. No penalty zone. Yeah. There are lots of screws. Wow, that's a small museum. I just noticed. I mean... <laughs> look at this skyscraper right here. Like, where does this, this take place? And then you look at the museum, just... Oh. That looks just like an ordinary house. Oh, my... My... Nemesis from this game. Oh, it's gonna feel good to beat him by cheating. <laughs> I don't care. I deserve it after- Ooh! Maybe I don't need to get a game over. Because I know there's like one or more mobs to get. Did I get through this whole stage seven times in a row with only these two weapons? Wow, that's impressive. I just couldn't accept the feet. Welcome back, by the way. <laughs> Where are I really like these dragons on the wall. It really doesn't fit the game we're playing, but eh, it's cool. Oh, come on. I just, I just... This is the part where I, where the ice wall is the most useful, I feel. Another reason why I, uh, cold man is... Aww. Wait, no! I'm so stupid! I can get this! I like how this is literally just goodies for Mega Man while Base is unable to get here. Well, he can steal them if he has a magic card, so... Oh, no! What am I gonna do in that room? Ah, oh, the one where I can get crushed. What? What? Maybe 
if there's something wrong with that. Uh, you know what? What am I thinking? Alright, more ammo. I uh, probably need a revolt mine more. Uh! Okay, the best thing you could. Ooh! Best thing you could give me is ammo right now. I don't care about my lives. Never mind. Okay, I have to use the weapon, the remote mine here, because I. I know that this boss is like. known as the one. like the mini boss with the most health in the series for some reason. It's a good thing the remote mine makes him a joke. <laughs> oh, I might have to grind here. <gasps> Thank you. No, I have an extra life, so I don't really care about. It. Be a kind little uh, skull. Pretty much the wall enemies from four and onward. I think they were introduced in four. Very possible. Yeah, I might have to, might have to go quiet in a bit again. And I got hiccups. Ugh. safe here, though. Because I don't think these guys shoot. I think they can only throw grenades. Oh! Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna grind. Now I kind of want health back. I mean, the only big, the big issue is um, getting through this part because the next part you can't go through without taking damage. One health pickup is all I need. Then. Really? You're so... You're so... Welcome with ammo and... Screws yet. Yet health is just... I don't know. I'm gonna go quiet now.
my oh my, is this, is this enjoyable? <laughs> okay, you, uh! That was a good thing I didn't die there. <laughs> God, I've wasted my health by stupidity. What I've gotten back is all gone. It was probably faster if I just die. <sighs> Let's just do it this way then. Never mind, it doesn't respawn. Oh my god. Are you gonna be my new mortal enemy in this game? Because Gromman's gonna be. easier. Oh! I probably should have. No, I'm gonna get a one up by the, by the treasures. Treasure room. I am still really confused about where the second path is in this stage. This is just a random door by the end section. Oh my god. Let's just do this. It's the faster and smarter option. Okay, this one is... needs to go. Ow! What did I do to you? I don't care, I'm gonna damage boost. Oh, you're down there now. Ooh, that was actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm... I need to know where... Now I can actually find out if I can... I've been thinking wrong or not. No, it. I can't slide on there. What about here? Where is. Is it the back wall over there? What? How do I get to the second path? Is it. Like. That would be the most. That area would make the most sense. Great. I kind of want that. Good thing I have safe states. Are you kidding me? Okay, screw that. Now this is where I'm getting worried, because I usually... I mean, I guess she's going with that one. But I still need to get this one here. Okay, I, I figured it out. So just, it doesn't really matter which one I go for next. Hey, another one up. I know how to get this one one way. You just fly around this area with treble boost while... while, um... the spike pillar goes up. But I'm not base, so... This one I have no clue what to how to deal with them. Cause it's literally on the other side here. How do I get how? This is the door this is the door I've been I've been going on about. Why is this door here? Cause you can't you can't go in this way. It's pretty much a door that leads to the final path. Where? I want to know, damn it. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic with Mega Man. <laughs> oh my god, I can already tell this is gonna be awful. I have to make that jump? Okay, what's not as bad as I thought? At well, least you can move while shooting. Don't you dare. Already at the end, I see. Because I know that Joe appears at the end. Uh. <sighs> Why 
Why do I not learn? Ah! Uh, okay. Oh, revenge is gonna feel sweet. It's gonna be so nice. God, I hate this guy. Oh, I, for I already forgot his pattern because he always jumps. Yeah, this is, this is the issue with this weakness for him. Like, if you miss, or he's invulnerable when you do this. Look at this right here. No, no, no big deal at all. But with base, I literally have to rely on pausing so I can dash through an exploit. Yeah, look at that shit. I'm already starting to, to cuss. And that can happen. I hate you so much. Can you please die now. Please go die now. He just get, he just gets out of the ground, jumps, and just. Oh, I hate him. He's so much more manageable when he's fair with that, because I don't have to rely on something that's impossible for me to do consistently. Like, dashing with base is just so strict, I hate it. Are you... It can't be over half a second, pretty much. How are you supposed to do that, like, consistently? Oh, I really like, I also really like how, um, those drills, it's supposed to split when you shoot it, but no, it just splits automatically and sometimes. How does that feel, mother f Oh my god, I beat him. I finally beat him. <laughs> well, that was under underwhelming revenge. What was I expecting? I'm using safe suits. I don't care, he's gone. <sighs> Man, revenge really feels empty when it's... You have powers on your side. <laughs> that was so... Lame! <laughs> Access to more stages. Oh yeah, I've heard the rumor about this stage. Don't go in here with. Hold up.
just realize something while being quiet? Um... Should I... Should I go for using save states when I get Wily Wars, or should I go... I've beaten games before on an emulator, but I have no idea if I use save states or not. That. If it gets too hard, probably for Mega Man 1. Mega Man 2, no. That game is easy enough already. Three, eh. I just know that it, I just know that the beginning and midpoint is pretty tough, and then the final stages are pretty easy. I have no clue which one of these guys are afraid of drills. I, I barely know any of the weaknesses. Uh, your pirate man is weak to the flamethrower, which is really weird until you realize how the flamethrower works underwater. Uh, burner man is ice wall. Remote mine is ground man. I have no clue. For once, I don't know the weaknesses for these bosses. I kind of... I think that's... I think that makes it... I like it, because from almost all Mega Man games, I always memorize the weaknesses. The only huge instance where I need to look up weaknesses is... Uh, Mega Man 3, when it introduces the second row the bosses, the Dark Robust stages, because you fight two of them in the four stages, and they copy the movesets of uh, the Mega Man 2 bosses, meaning you have to you have to use know the weaknesses of. 16 Robot Masters in that game. I'm fine remembering the ones for the first, for the new Robot Masters, but not for the two bunch, so I always get a weakness guide for that game. Well, either way, I, I have a reward to get here. Okay, I'm gonna guess this one. And that's wrong. That's the blade, I can already tell. I just know that the magic card... I know the screen nuke is up, up top. Here then? Yes. I really like this weapon. I have to say. It has a nice sound too. And I like how that one just falls down if you don't split them. Oh no, it's a really fun drill weapon. The drill weapons in the classic series are pretty dang good. Then again, what other drill weapons are there other than the drill bomb? Well, the drill bomb is awesome. Shop expands. Now, I guess. I'm really happy because I know that the items I created do a lot of good for you. It would be perfect if you introduce them sooner. Rush search? What is it just search for in this game? It's probably gonna be just random items. Super recover. It's really good. Uh, to be charged without holding the B. Ooh, that's really good too. No. Ooh, 
Yeah, now that I think about it, because I can only equip one of these at a time, it's probably not going to be too expensive, too effective. It's very, it's very good in the X games to fill your sub tanks. That's why I always have it in the X5 and X6. Enemy analyze. No, thank you. What is this? It makes your offense's power increase in a tight situation. You can turn the tables on. That would have been. That would have been great to have a base for the third boss. No, I have to rely on these six items. I'm gonna get this one because I know this is the only way to get healing. I can't imagine going through the final stages without this. Jeez. Since I'm spending all my bolts now, I guess Magic Man is a good next choice. Because if you... No joke. If you have like 500 bolts with you going into that stage... Per I'm pretty sure not even halfway through you've lost all of them. Because of one certain enemy. That just... That just takes them all away from you. not work unless you equip it. Yeah, I know. Let's get this one. And... Just get it over with. Wait, does this mean that base has two items as well? Because Rush, Rush, Search, and Eddie are pretty much the last two weapons with the weapon slots. What? Oh well. Um. There we go. Magical man. I do have to give this game credit. Their unique role masters are pretty cool. Like they're damn cool. I mean Magic Man, Pirate Man, Burner Man. They have really cool designs. Oh yeah, these guys. Let's show it off. And how many bolts did I come in with? Doesn't matter, they're all gone now. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? There's one. Um, I don't know about that. That doesn't seem real. Hey, look, I'm playing X5, X6, and X7 when I'm not streaming. Well, at least this isn't as loud as those games, so I'm fine having this on. This is definitely a great upgrade, though, for a Game Boy Advance game. <sighs> Man... I wasn't sure I would make that jump. That's why I didn't even jump for it. You guys can take a hit, I see. That's pretty scary with how dangerous you are when it comes to your wallet. I love that. That is so playful. It's so fitting. It's all... I think this song is actually better than the SNES version because it feels more silly and wacky and just fitting for the setting. Are you gonna do the same? I love how you can tell us it's a flute playing. 
think at least. Ah! There goes all my bolts again. The few I have. Oh my god, I don't have anything! Get away from me! <laughs> what do you want from me? More... What, what do you want from me? At least now I know how to handle them. Those pesky little... Flying enemies at that point. Oh, that was really close. my train, man! I don't trust this. That's why I don't trust it. Oh my god, spikes? This isn't a good start. I already got a game over. With three deaths. For the first section of the stage. What? Did they break it? Leave me alone! <coughs> I inhaled. I wanted to say maybe I could use the ice wall to use it instead of the trains, but no, there's a pit. That's why this part sucks. There's a pit um, you fall into. tell someone that pretty much all the stages in this game are copies of slightly changed or changed of versions of Mega Man 8's um, levels. I'm pretty sure 99% of people would guess by looking at all these which one this is uh, similar to. Oh my god! This song is going off! Oh my god, it sounds like... It just goes all out like... Listen to this! Why did they... Why is this the song that GBA just went... Just thought... Oh, we're gonna make it into straight fire. OW! <laughs> Literally the same mini boss as in 8. Oh yeah, I don't defeat this guy. Well, let's see if I can. Yeah, he's gonna reveal... The door for me. I wanna defeat him, though. He's easy to handle. It's pretty... Literally Toad Man again. Never mind, he does things on his- HEY! Oh, come on! Why don't I use a save state? I forgot because of the impressive, enjoyable music. Go away! You know, they really- they really let you know what you're in for those enemies at the start, because you're going to realize that your wallet is a lot, um, oh, 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 oh. oh perfect. Uh! Oh, that's perfect, I love that. Slap the game right now. <laughs> it was about. Oh my god! This is what I what I'm saying with this game. Every time you want to praise something, there's something to slap you. Well, thankfully, I can. It's less annoying now with safe states. You know, safe states would have made X6 a lot less painful. I'm still going on about it. 
Black Six. <sighs> okay. I get a refill. I wonder if all the streams I've made, if I've mentioned X6 in like... Well, definitely in more than half the Mega Man ones. Probably close to or around half. That's the same thing. Over or close to half of uh, the platformer streams, like platformer games. Because I always gotta mention X6 when it comes to something bad. Oh yeah, now when the Zero video's done, um, my next goal is Gate Stage 2 video. Uh, I have save states, why don't I use it? Oh my god. Oh my god, that is perfect. I want to see them die. Hey, even I don't I don't take damage, but they do. Ah I hate you. And that's weird. Only two clouds. Well three clouds. Four clouds. <laughs> How long until this the background um, loops? Again, I'm gonna bring up X X6, but this is more of a funny, dumb, bad way. Yeah, yeah, this part of the stage, yes, it has the same, the same buildings over and over. But the sky is, I mean, you don't see the same clouds over and over. In X6, you literally see the same temple in the background of the last part of the stage, and then like, before you reach the boss door, you, you've seen, like, eight moons in the sky. <laughs> oh my god, this song sounds incredible. It just goes all out orchestral. And... I don't know how to describe it, it's just... I am, I am so shocked that this is the song that just goes all out, though. I mean, it absolutely demolishes Cloudman's theme, which is pretty much the same. I mean, the stage is literally the same thing. Same enemies, these guys were in Cloudman. Pretty sure the trains were in Cloudman, but this one focuses on... has a more focus on it. You know, the song loops like two... <sighs> it feels like three times before it gets to the really good part. So it really is quite a surprise to hear it go just insanely good out of nowhere. Like, it's just so calm until it gets to this point right here, I think. Yeah, right here. <laughs> this is just like a rock solo, but for carnival music. And then it just adds and adds. Oh my god! Just put this song next to the main theme of X8. This is charm and effort and just joyfulness. X8 is just boring, dull, lazy. 
the main theme is... I'm bringing up the main theme because that's the big, easiest example of explaining why x hates soundtrack isn't... Okay! You win. I'm not gonna kill you. Hey, these weren't... Whoa. These were in Mega Man 8. No hook shot though, because that weapon isn't in here because Cloud Man isn't in here. Ow. What? Let's try old Rush. Wow, Rush really was downgraded in this game. He went from... He went from being a platform that that could move... Like a... Being the most broken version of Rush Jet, where you could fly anywhere in Mega Man 3, where he was introduced, to being nerfed in Mega Man 4, to where the Rush Jet can only go forward, which makes sense. To having a weird spring. Like, Rush Coil, for some reason, the spring wasn't on his back. Li he literally was the spring. Like, you jumped up on him, he jumped up, and you jump off of him. And the Mega Man 6 is where he got really cool because you can transform into, like, a jetpack, a red jet jetpack Mega Man, and a red power mode Mega Man. Seven got really cool too. Because it combines the two armors. Jetpack and hub like a uh, homing fist. Pretty much a homing missile that destroys everything in the game. Mega Man 8. Yeah, you didn't really get to transform, but there were a lot of weird options. And here we are. Mega Man the base. This is all he can do. What? Okay, first off, how can a worm be in this place? Secondly, how, how is this worm so strong? Hey Rush, where'd you go? Oh. Okay, I have... I am happy that this is, an, this is a thing though, because it... The two things I've seen him do is... It is kind of useful in some instances. Like, you could. It's pretty much a luck game. I really like that, though. His, those two animations were awesome. Come on, Rush. <laughs> hey, more Rush search. <laughs> That, but thanks. This is the true joy of Mega Man. <laughs> Exploring. Letting your dog dig around the stages. That's the Mega Man we all remember. Is that a tuna can? This music it makes it even better. A hammer? That could be useful. Throwing out an enemy. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no, like, shop items you can get for free in certain locations in this game. Aww. Well, you won't get that three times in a row. Let's see what Eddie does. What? Do I have to shoot? Do I have to go down here? There we go. Thanks, Eddie. You know, I take the health, but how much? 35. I'm not. I'm not gonna have that by the end of this level. 
thank god there's healing in this game though. Why am I using him here when I'm on my last life? If I don't find a one up here, I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna beat Magic Man without taking damage. Yeah, I'm guessing that's for base. Yes, it's this part. I was hoping that'd be the good part. I'm gonna die! This is just childhood joy, this song. Eh, fine. <sighs> Let's go to burn him man. Because his weakness is an effective. I have his weakness, and his weapon is effective against a boss that's already dead. So why not? Let's just get him over with. Now, safe states are gonna help a lot in this fight because he kills you fast. Speaking of kills you fast, one hit kill fire part. That's the only drawback of this weapon. <laughs> you have to activate it to like... Yeah, it's easy. If if enemies are too close, like below or above you, it's not gonna work. <laughs> right plan there. Ah, uh, how am I gonna handle this here? I have a bigger shot, but base made it easier by shooting down. Eh, I can charge. You take a lot, I see. I just realized Mega Man is really big in this game. He's literally the same size as Mega Man 7. I really like that though. This is like a combination of Mega Man 8 and 7. Because it's on an SNES. Zoomed in Mega Man like this. Well, I guess more is a Game Boy Advance version. For Whatever. It's an SNES game that looks like Mega Man 8. see what's in here again. Oh, 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 dude, 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 dude. I have a drill too. Eat drill. This is how it feels. Great job there. I wasted. Not only did I waste ammo, I wasted health. So I'm about to die here. One upgrade that's going to be very good is half damage. That's going to be my main one when I unlock it. Oh, oh! Ah. Uh. It's not too far to send back. Really? 
Oh, let me guess the drill does it. This is what I'm saying. These enemies have like only one or two weapons that destroy them. And they're gonna be a pain until you get that weapon. And in some instances, it's a very draining weapon, so it's a pain no matter what. That's why those enemies are not a big favorite of players. Ah! thing I don't need the weapon. I don't need a weakness weapon except the ice wall. <laughs> you know, it's really often where I'm at no percent, like only one bar of health. I feel that doesn't happen often with the other games. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember the last time. I remember going down to one bar of health a lot. Then again, the other games has heal, have healing. Oh yeah, that's cool. Have the health fall down, but. People hate on Bubble Lead and Mega Man 2 for being very weak, but it is helpful in one stage, the worst stage in the game, because of the boss. No, it's probably the worst stage in... I mean, Wily 1, you're pretty much forced to use... Um, a Wily... or a light item. And if you run out of ammo, either get a game over or run Get that. I know it's. You know what? I have safe states. <laughs> what? Alright, my next guess is. Um... I was about to say, my next guess is. Uh, treble boost with base. Got my question answered there. Why are we even trying? I get full health here. I really got a weapon there. It's not good. Well, there is that great grinding spot where I grinded while panicking last time. How am I gonna get over there? I don't have the double jump. <sighs> it's probably not gonna be enough. It is enough. Good. It wasn't a waste. That's the important part. I really like that sound effect. Oh! <gasps> Hee <laughs> hee. 
Oh yeah, base can't shoot through walls because he needs to get an upgrade first. I think. Wait, how is base gonna? Oh yeah, double jump. Of course. <sighs> it really doesn't feel like too much in favor of base. Yes, there are points that are very noticeable where he. It's definitely... I mean, that's literally all because of the double jump. Because the double jump is such a great ability. The rest of his abilities aren't as much. Like the dash, it's too hard to activate for most people. Huh. I'm gonna go down here, because I remember there being... No, never mind, there's nothing good here. Uh... Now how is this gonna work? Because base had his, um... I got a spam. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. Oh, I kind of want that. <sighs> I know there's some. What? Is that impossible for Mega Man? Oh come on. This is the part where I really would have needed it before I go here. I hate you. Go. Yeah, get out of here. No, 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 no. no! Go away. <sighs> okay, let's see if let's see if the mine can take out this guy fast. Already you activated it. <laughs> I don't get why this why this is here. This is supposed to be stone or like heat resistant ice or what? What is this supposed to be? Go away! I hate you! No one likes you. No one. No one likes you, dude. Oh my god, I just... How am I gonna do this with my health? That's the ladder that I... Oh my god. How am I supposed to... I need to shoot it before I slide them. That's... That was the wrong way! Eh. One less ice wall is in there. At least I know I'll be safe here. Okay. Now what? <laughs> you cheeky little douche mongler. I don't know what that means. I just want to kill him. I really want to kill him. Wait, is he not going to appear again? Oh, that's beautiful. Back! Whew. Okay, that's pretty damn scary. He shoots it up into the air and you have to Ooh, speaking of which. Oh never mind. I'm fine. Because they just <laughs> they either hit the roof or they don't load. Okay, this is the end. Thank god that session really isn't that long. <sighs> Alright, I have one extra life, so that's good. I'm lacking ice wall though. 
No big deal. I have my two. My, I have two real good pals in my intel. What? Oh, it's a bone. I'm surprised he left it. She likes bones because he's a dog. Uh, good dog. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it's a shoe. <laughs> that looked like a blue shell to me at first. That's what the, that's what the first thing that uh, popped into my mind was Mario Kart. <laughs> Can you blame me? Like, were you... It really looks like a wing in some... Oh. <laughs> you know, that makes sense. Not exactly with, um... The theme of the level being... Burning forests. I think... I think Burner Man's backstory is why we th why we threatened him. Yeah, why we like um, lied to him that he had he needed to burn down two or three forests per day, which is awful. Yeah, or else he would or else he would uh, explode. That would explain why he's pretty unhinged. I mean, just looking at the artwork, he looks. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> that makes sense for the for the level, but not exactly this room here. I mean, everything makes more sense than a than digging up stuff at a carnival. Um. All right, Eddie, you're faster than Rush. I just. I don't care for health. I don't want ammo. <laughs> Something really funny that you can have... Can I just... Okay, it's not too bad. Something really funny is... The way Eddie was uh, treated... Like, the way he worked in the NES games... Because he was introduced in 4 and then stuck around the other two games. You just find them in random parts of stages, like, it's not random rooms, it's just, the rooms are set to have him there, but it's always like rooms without enemies, he just appears to give you an item, and the good thing about that is, you can just, you can just have him drop the item, don't pick it up, leave the room, and then he reappears, and then you can farm, you can just do it until you get an E-Tank or an extra life. That's a nice little exploit I learned early on. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, let's start with Eddie this time. Very generous of you, but... Eh, whatever. That's something I want when I go up against the final boss. Not so much Burner Man. The Burner Man he, he is is um, the challenge of a final boss. He hits like a final boss. Rushes back. I like Rush the most. And I love... I love... I do like... Um, the upgrade you get with him to combine in 7. I don't know, I like him more in 6 because... You get... You get the jetpack from a certain enemy. 
I think I think the jetpack is from Plant Plant Man and the power armor is from Flame Man. Yeah, it's not you literally get it for playing the game. Meanwhile in seven you have to hunt down letters. I mean one the one in Burstman stage is literally just in plain sight. How would you know the one in Junkman stage? Like freezing the it's freezing a point of lava? I mean you can't see the the ladder below, but it does it looks like it's uh, part of the wall. I don't know, I like how Mega Man 6 you get. The game is kind of built around the two upgrades. While the Mega Man 4 one is just pretty much an armor from the X series. When... Oh boy, here we go. I didn't save state. God. Well, I have an extra life, so it's no big deal. I really need to be careful with these because they are important. Look how much health he does going into me. And I do, s I do this little health with the weakness. already wiped out half my health. What are they thinking with this? Oh my god, I... <laughs> like, do I miss this, this with base? No, I might need that double defense, like, half health upgrade. Well, I know that if you do it right in front of them... Yeah, like this. Oh no, you have to... Oh, I see now. Oh my god, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I took out half his health bar with that? Okay, now I see why he's so dangerous, because the weakness... I know, I guess I was lucky the first time, because it didn't really... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Is it this easy? By the way, this isn't a long fight. Because he kills you fast, I kill him fast. Wall, why you gotta be like this? Eat this! If I do it like that, like, activate it inside him, that's the best way to explain. How did I. Oh my god, I took. <laughs> I think that's not supposed to happen. Why does it say snapshot? has no chance with only oh my god. Uh I can see why I didn't manage to beat him with base because if you don't if you mess up once he's gonna punish you for it. I keep forgetting Okay, so not when he's dashing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He has to be on screen to do deal damage with the spikes. I am happy for once we use the spikes against the boss in the series. Because the spikes are the biggest threat to Mega Man throughout the whole all his incarnations. Well, I don't know about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the battle network. I'm pretty sure battle network. That's more of an RPG. Or more RPG strategy. I'm pretty sure it's not a an enemy that's like kills you instantly as a spike. Well the platformer. Well that's a staple for all for all platformers. Instant deaths just suck. Hits, crush, spikes. So many games have them. One one hit kill. Let's 
Stage is already hard enough, so you're not gonna be here with high health or high life count. I don't think about it. Instead, if I would have went through this guy instead of ground man seven times, I would have beaten him eventually. You just have to get the one good run. Yeah, you can kind of exploit that. Just have him, have him take damage, and then. Use another one so you can push him down. I'm just gonna start it here. I have to say though, this guy's design is sick. Like, this is X level of design. It looks menacing, it looks. It's not as silly or like traditional as the classic series. This is just straight up insane. Just goes all out with a the little theme. Oh my god, he just jumps every damn time. It really looks like it hurts for him. Ah, you. This is like drill, man. You barely get any opportunities to hurt him. And the ice wall just fucking breaks if you move. I'm like, damn. Isn't this boss fight even more hectic? The weakness can break because you move. That's. No wonder this guy is so hated. People see this guy as like. What's a boss from the next game? Oh yeah, Infinity Virginium from X6. Bring it up X6 again. <laughs> I think it's more because X6's um, Maverick bosses are pretty, pretty pathetic. Except for, well, for me last time I played it Shield Sheldon because I was dumb. I don't know, if you don't use the ultimate arm, like, a specific armor... No, just the ultimate armor, or the weakness. If any Maginion is really tough. Really annoying, too, because he can just... He can just spawn, like, ten versions of himself. There we go, that's perfect. Except it didn't. He melted it away, gosh darn it. No, that's the wrong way, damn it. <sighs> I love how this weapon works. Man, is it annoying in this fight. It's a really cool utility weapon. Those are sometimes... Like, utility weapons are often favorites of mine. I just really like weapons you can use for platforming as well. Like the lightning weapon from X4. It's one of the... That's probably the only weapon. No, Rising Fire too. Rising Fire and Web Spider's weapon is uh, the only two weapons that I use in X4. I did play. I did stream me only using the Maverick weapons. Not one of them. That was pretty fun. The bosses took forever because I made it a rule to not use the weakness, so I had to use. I had to use Maverick weapons that did like one or two bars of damage. And it took forever for certain bosses. Like, no joke, for Split Mushroom I had to like... Constantly wall jump at the top of the screen just to avoid... Avoid the two copies because they're just so fast. Like, sometimes it just breaks even if I'm... Yeah, look at that! Why? Why is it so easy to break? What if I do it in the air? <sighs> Man. Okay, 
Okay, I'm, I'm talking during this, so let's just focus. Did I hit him like- oh my god. I kinda wanna see that save again. But it's gone forever now. Okay, I wait for you then. You're gonna go far. Literally. Oh, I'm so- I'm a moron! I safe state here. I'm literally one hit away now. Okay, he's gonna dash again, so. Ooh. Okay, after he does that move, and he's finished. Never mind, I can survive one hit. Well, this is not in contact, because he does. He hits like a truck, literally. his flames. I mean, he probably is very hot. He's made of steel. He's a flamethrower that just... Yeah. Sure, let's go with that. Why did I do the safe state here? I still think it's so awesome when I have access to safe states. Like, I'm literally doing this within the physical game. It's so cool. I had no idea this was possible. Ah. Dude. Ah! That would've been it. get him perfectly as he lands, he's gonna get pushed to the spikes and die. It's gonna be satis more satisfying than taking out the ground man. That's for sure. That was too early. Never mind. <laughs> now the only way his name makes sense is if he gets cremated. And this does nothing other than give me more bolts because... <sighs> it's fine. I just feel like there's better options. And again, I already beat the boss and has the save. Oh, save state. you to talk with Roll, just no marathon phone conversations, please. Oh! I thought he was gonna say that Roll spends a lot of time talking about stuff. But he was more referring to Mega Man. Auto charge is 50? 
Mom is very cheap. Enemy data. The enemy covers their weak points. Because I really... Because I really like pausing the game. To find out the enemy's weakness when I can just blast it with all the weapons. To find out. I waste that one, but... Patient person. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. Uh, okay, bottom left. Bottom right. This one. <laughs> yes. Third time's a charm. I wonder, can I? No, I have to do it here. I really like the red on Mega Man layers. It's almost like pinkish red. Like scarlet, but it's more. It's not quite. Second egg color is nice too. <sighs> I need to take care of Magic Man soon. Because if not, then I'm gonna have a lot of bolts to lose. Then again, at that point, I shouldn't really have anything special to buy. Let's go take the map. I was about to say, <laughs> isn't his nose a weight to this extent now? The song is really nice. But nothing can beat his Sega Saturn song. Like, for some reason. Tango Man was the only Rumble Master in Mega Man 8 that had a different song, depending on console. And his Sega Saturn song just destroys the Mega Man 8 song. What am I supposed to do here? What? I guess it was too late. <laughs> Extra life was a tease. Well, I kind of need, need it, so I kind of want to get it. I like you can see the similarities of this. Oh, whatever. I only had one life, so... Ugh. I have to say, though, this reminds me more of Wind Man with the colors and just platforms. And the fans in the background on the buildings. Tango Man was more like a sunset, like oranges sunset. Well, you know. I can't wait to get wild blues. I'm kind of afraid to ask for like 60 bucks for it. That's. <sighs> I. Th My mom's either get gonna get angry. It's a better. It's a much better bet asking her. My dad, because my dad always complains about um, money coming. Like, cool. Like money being taken out of my savings account when it should be saved. I don't know. He's he always thinks of money when I'm talking about my collectibles. I'm all kind of too, but it's more. 
Oh, this one just makes you unable to. That's a guaranteed death if you get hit by them. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I do have. I have Pepper Radiance next month. I have. Metroid Prime. Sun Hill 3 when I eventually get the. when the damn thing eventually arrives. Speaking of Silent Hill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, with how long it's been. With how long it's been since the last news regarding Silent Hill. I'm not really surprised that we got so much. I don't know. I'm just happy that it's coming back, we're getting new games and a remake for Silent so Hill too. Something that's that's been more than welcome at this point because Silent Hill 2 has been Oh, these don't break. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 hasn't really been very accessible nowadays. Bit big. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, his. Oh my god, his. Like his hands and just. They're supposed to be bigger than his head and armor sometimes. His buster is kind of as big, but... I don't know. It is weird. We'll blame Mega Man 8 for that one. Oh yeah, something else about Mega Man 8 that was weird. For some reason they had, like, Mega Man's head, like, twitch sometimes. Like, when standing still, he would, like, twitch with his face. To, like, show him breathing. It looked very weird. Yeah, I'm not surprised they took it out of this one. Yeah, this is literally the same sprite as 8. The same animations. Balloons. Water and bubbles. Uh What? How does that make sense? What? Actually. Yeah, how am I supposed to How does it get pe I, I don't know. I remember, I remember that I can do this here. Sure, let's use the flamethrower. I have no clue what the weakness is for the tank command. <sighs> Shouldn't be too big of a deal to save states. So. I really like this though. This gives. Um, Gives purpose to the ice. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think I think there's like two different paths here on the stage. Oh, that's cool. He fixes them so they blow towards instead. Oh yeah, this stage does have stuff like this. Like you blow, you destroy pipes and they start like pushing you. Stuff. You guys. literally just a trading card game. Like a trading card with the discs. What Robot Master am I gonna get in this wiki now? How the hell am I supposed to get it? Uh, yeah, it's basically nothing. 
He creates those? No. We need to go. I'm about to die. I have a bomb too. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, there's nothing cool on the other path. Damn hiccups. Am I supposed to you? It almost feels like the ice walls are fired in this stage. These both paths are pretty much. <sighs> yeah, about talking about the planning and such. I'm wanting to stream, I'm wanting to add Mighty Wars to the lineup. It's not too big a deal. I mean, these games are like one stream long. The four Mega Man Four comes around and adds another castle. Oh god, I'm I don't I don't want to be I don't want to stream all of Mega Man Five in one sitting. That's gonna make me hate the game. Or like not want to replay it in another. It's just way too long. Okay, okay, I get it. Thank you for the health or ammo, though. Again, thank you. <laughs> Come on, I want to get to the part where I get to make mistakes and pay for it. Yeah, you shoot the pipes and like enemies come out or something. This looks suspicious. Did I fill up all the ammo? Wow. Now that's what an energy. Uh, what is that item called now again? Like the energy. Energy balancer, yeah. That is that really is the, one of the best items in the game's for its time. Oh, there we go. That's what happens. Do you like mines? You don't. <laughs> Probably not gonna do anything. Yep. Did something there. Why do I always have to get hungry, right? Two hours in. I don't have anything ready at the moment. Oh, I hate hunger sometimes. Like when hunger is rewarding, like you haven't really, you haven't eaten something and you're craving a meal, and it makes the food even better. Now that way, I like it. Busy or like not close to getting food. And nah, I'd rather not. Oh my god, this part is. Alright. Bombs do what? Bombs do what? It's pretty funny that the bomb weapons in the series have been so, like, overall just so awesome. But the one in the first game is anything but awesome. <laughs> like, that is the worst weapon in the game. Easily. I mean, I don't really consider this a weapon. And if you don't consider that, then... It's a no-brainer what the worst weapon is. Hyperbomb. The way it works is you just you just throw the bomb, it bounces on the ground. Uh, it takes a bit and then explodes. And only the explosion can hurt. Go away, please. Shouldn't this blow you away? Maybe that's why he's. Oh my god, 
is so easy to do. Just I certainly do stuff. And I don't want to because just a control stick. I have to do I have to play with a control stick with this controller because I don't have an NES SMU such as Sounds, it's a very cocky voice, but he's, he doesn't really sound that tough. Tough, that's why I love it. It's one of the more to tolerable uh, voices in A, because most of them are either high pitch or cross man. I'll crush yo. I'll beat yo. At least nothing is as bad as Aquaman's voice. Good lord. Hey, he has the tornado hold. Why don't I get that ability? Well, the blade is... Again, I like practical... I like utility weapons, so the tornado hold is a favorite of mine. And I have to admit that... Tango Blade is cool too. Most people would say they prefer the Tango Blade. But I just don't get why people look down on the Tornado Hold when it really is useful. I mean, the, tor the Tornado Hold literally works the same. Oh, thank you. I didn't make a save state? Go oh, away. Oh my god, that's terrifying. He's, he's... He's literally upside down and still just... Here to take me out. That's scary. Yeah, the tornado hold is pretty much just like how he uses it in the boss here. You shoot at the ground. Spins on the ground and creates air that you can fly up on, reaching higher areas. Then again, now that I think about it, the uh, the ball can also do that. It's a double jump. Oh no! That uh, the tornado hold is cooler and easier to use. So double jump is like a like a trick you have to do. Every time I return to Mega Man 8, I forget how <laughs> how you do it. Because I think it's just I don't I have no clue. Do you have to hold the button, or like jump at a specific timing and then activate it, or like you know? I just realized <laughs> these weapons don't really travel far and straight. Yeah, because this one falls off, and when you split it, it splits into different things, and does very little damage. This one is a bomb, so pretty much anything, and it gets stuck, so it's very likely that it'll, it won't. And you can control it. This one has no range, and this isn't even a weapon, this is more platform creator. And the Tango Blade isn't a ranged we weapon either. This game really kind of used to long range weapon. There's just so many short range ones. Then again, it's it is good for the game of transport. Does smaller screen, but it wasn't planned like that. This is just so the game could be released outside of Japan. They chose to. Stick Chose to release it on the Game Boy Advance for some reason. I can't believe this game and the Zero series were on the same console. Like they are complete opposites when it comes to like speed. Speed just ugh. Well it kinda is fitting that I'm playing a Game Boy Advance play my game. Other than Zero, after I release the Zero video, I'll bring the whole series. 
Oh, staying with familiar territory in a different way. Because I'm still playing a streaming Game Boy Advance game. Oh my god, this is. I just like rambling so much. What are those? They look like. Cricket bat bombs or something. about it while, while I heard it, but if this were, if the GBA version of Magic Man goes so hard, is it the same for the SNES version? Because that could be even better. I really want to find out now. <sighs> I love when enemies disappear. KH Insider. Oh, I have zero two right. I have zero two. I have a tab on KH Insider with zero two soundtrack because of the video. Oh, it's the remastered one. Uh. No, I'm not tired. It's just. My voice is tired. <laughs> I do kind of, I do kind of want to hear the Supreme Ruler, the remaster song, because <clears throat> I forgot how the GBA version is. That's how good Zero Two soundtrack is. Songs that you forget about make you feel bad because they're so cool. I hope it's not too loud. I can lower the volume. I just want to hear the beginning part where it goes bit a bit more. Oh, you could hear the beep boop. Wait. Oh, it's still there. Awesome. Where's the one that meltdown? The one that I really loved. Oh, it has the base? Oh my god. This is a this is a great guilty pleasure. I just love the beginning part of the song so much. It kinda overshadows the begin the original song. It has the base for it though, that's awesome. Oh my god, Zero Two soundtrack it is it's awesome both original and remastered. Awakening will It sounds very different to Clover. Okay, now it sounds different. Alright, enough of this. Let's go to the Mega Man base. Uh, no, I kind of want to. I kind of want to hear this song, the original one, because I love the beginning part so much. Meltdown. That's no volume at all. Oh well. I kind of want to make. Uh, I kind of want to mention though. Beginning notes of this song right here. Beat all of Zero One's music. I really should make a compilation of 
me going excited over Zero Two soundtrack. Mega Man and Base, where are you? It's probably high up because there's an and. <laughs> Why well, I'm not surprised. I can't beat Airman. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm probably gonna play that when I go after Airman with Wily Wars. Oh, perfect. Oh, cool. I have. Alright. What does magic man? Dang! Mad. Wow, Tango Man's song is like 1 minute and 46 seconds. And then like three, the three next World Masters are over 4 minutes. Should be 1 minute in. It doesn't sound as exciting. What did I expect? The song is very calm. All the excitement and hype, just all the... I can't believe the Game Boy Advance version of Mega Man... Of, of Magic Man impressed me much more than the SNES version. Yeah, because this part right here makes the song. Much more fun. <laughs> wow. Let's listen to the one in SNES again. Is there. Where is. Oh, that's very lame. Since I'm, since I'm here, boss battle. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why this is a song I always think of when I think of Mega Man and Bass. Okay, enough playing around with music. Oh yeah, something other than something, something else I'm looking forward to with Wily Wars is the Genesis versions of every song. That's gonna be fun too. I haven't really checked because it could be the drill. I'm starting to think that it might be. Oh, that did. Oh, it is. Why is he weak to the drill? Oh my god. He fell down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Why though? I'm gonna die in regardless. Again! These, like... What are they called now again? Weather veins? No, that's... Was close enough. These don't. These are pretty much. These aren't from Tango Man Station 8, they're from Wind. from Cloud Man. Why? Maybe even in his boss arena. Yeah, because his boss. I remember his boss arena in 8 being like. He just, he just goes right straight to the ground, like that. Yeah, his boss arena is like... A stone... Like a rock platform in midair. Like a huge, like, boulder. 
Why is his weakness to drill, though? I mean, his weakness in 8 didn't really make sense either, because it was the ice weapon that drops straight down. Like, it's, it's a little... When you shoot it... Um, a little energy of ice just drops to the ground, and then it goes forward with... Eh, it's a lame super version. Yeah, it, tra it travels on the floor. Why would that be a weakness for a boss that's flying? Oh, I can't believe I beat five bosses. <laughs> no. Nothing new. good with emulating. But then again, this this pretty much is an emulator. A legal emulator. Ah, uh, no, you can... <laughs> I don't know, it's more legal than downloading it free. Because you have to get the games, physically. Now that I think about it, it's pretty much an emulator version of Game Genie. Sheets are included. You just have to go get them. What? Oh, cool. So Mega Man gets Mega Man gets that too. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Mega Man dashes the way base should dash. Oh, that's cool. I didn't make a safe state. <sighs> Why are you weak to the drill? I can't get over that. <laughs> and why do I walk into him when he's falling? I forgot to say, well, I'm very late with this, but I did check out uh, one of your tier lists, and I really, I can definitely say we have our look, the same look at in death look, knowing so much about the Mega Man series, just loving talking about just anything like weapons. Robot Masters, essentially. It's cool to see someone else have a similar... Did he? Okay. Yeah. 
because I can go on and on about stuff in this series. I'm pretty sure Raphaelo's well aware at this point. All I do when I play these games, I either talk about stuff I like from the other games, or complain about X6. Heck, most of my streams are more talking than gameplay. I really like how they, the secondary function of the thing played. I thought it was only for base because why would you be able to do this when it's a slide? Wait, it does strain. Whoa, that was cool. It does strain ammo though, which is pretty annoying. It would have been fine if it like took one bar on the regular one it takes two. It just sucks that they have a better way of dashing with the Tango Blade. Like, Mega Man 10 went with, with the slide. Like, same as the slide to dash with base. You can, you can have that for a Game Boy Advance. Why do you have to go with this double tap stuff? Double tap gimmick. It becomes more of a pain, and you can do it on accident very easily. I need to remember that I have save states. I'm just so used to not having save states. This is the kind of weapons I like in this series. Like, the weapon lineups I like the most in this series is where you can just go through a stage just using one weapon and then just switching to, quickly switching to another one when a situation isn't good for the one you have and it still works. Which is definitely why I love, uh, 9 especially, Mega Man 9. All the weapons in that game are just awesome. I mean, there's a reason why people always look back on Mega Man 2's Metal Blades and not the other weapons in the game. Because the Metal Blades outshine every weapon in the game. Well done. Uh, I have to... Oh wow, the fuse is really awkwardly placed. I'm pretty sure I just need one spot. How can you take something... Oh. It looks so simple to you until you realize. Oh God, why? It's because I'm too busy talking about pointless stuff. Yeah, I don't have all the weapons at the moment, so switching between them on the fly isn't as... I don't think about it. No 
wonder I'm mainly thinking of X1, X2, 7, 8, and onward. Because in Magma 1 through 6, you couldn't switch weapons on the fly like this. I just really like when all the weapons are equally good, so I can just play around with them while moving, causing mayhem. Uh, I mean, oh my god. Save states. I have them. Use them. I mean, I've already... I've already explained how much I love X4, and that game doesn't really have incredible weapons. Heck, I... Why... why... why am I getting so many 1-ups? It's because I'm forgetting to the save state. There we go. I mean, I love X4 to death, but I pretty much never used them. I only use the weapons when they're necessary for upgrades. And for how much I love X1, X1's lineup of weapons, and it makes the game for me, I'm fine with <laughs> not using the weapons in X4 because the plasma shot is just so devastating. I mean, it's better than any every weapon in the game. And you even get the choice, which is awesome. Okay, let's get this disc. <laughs> There's no way. Am I supposed to get this with base? Because a double jump makes this easier. That's frustrating. Oh, never mind. I want to see. I have gotten like three discs. Let's see what I've gotten to, add to my collection. Oh wow, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty sad. I love this gimmick though. It is really cool. Oh, he almost fell down again. Ah! Um, shouldn't stay too long here. That is so cool, though. I have to say, though, comparing this stage to the one in Mega Man 8, are those, like, upside down? Uh, old clocks, like, they almost look like cabinets. Alright, the Dance Dance Revolution part. Alright, let's hopefully not accidentally press on it. Oh, I can't mess around afterwards, that's lame. Yeah, I can tell Mega Man has a- well, there is this too, but I have both of them, so let's just get this. See if I can avoid activating on the ice wall. What? Okay, I can. That's cool. I can avoid that by using the ice wall. That's why I love utility weapons like this. Yeah. You want to make this session easier? Let's. Ice wall. The 
right way. Fine, I won't I won't go for it then. Oh, that was real close. I'm surprised so it was this last one. You can never jump over a Joe. Feels like you probably can in the older games. I mean, they're basically as big as you are. And Mega Man is pretty small in the originals. Oh great, this is this isn't this here was made for safe states, Yoku blocks, especially the one later in the stage. Oof. with this empty oh I see <laughs> there's no way they would have that part be so empty and then I got my answer why <sighs> here we go this Yell at him to get over here. Come back. Come back. Oop. Be so fun. Here we go. Now to get him over here. If I don't... I have to have my arm around his neck just to have him stay. <laughs> I don't like this, he's trying to... <laughs> it's gonna make it even harder. So I have a dog pushing my arm around. Can I just jump up here? Can I get a top here? No. <laughs> I know it's gonna be fast, so... That's what happens when you play a game like this. But if I get if I get a Genesis NES or SNES controller, I can I'll have to I'll have to go here to load state every time. It is a lot. It is a lot more manageable. I take that over a D-pad.
you know, now I think about it, I now, I now have a way to collect, like, the SNES Island games. I mean, I only got the Famicom games just to add to my collection, but now I, well, I doubt I'll be able to get to the game with everything in Japanese. Maybe I can find, like, a modded copy of... It's no big deal with the first two Final games because the first one has a remake on the DS and the second one has, a, has the best remake I've ever played on the 3DS. I'm holding left. How are you supposed to... There's no way you're gonna do this on your first try. You have to get through it with trial and error and memorizing. My god! This... <laughs> I don't want to count this against Mega Man, but this doesn't happen with base. I guess there was one good thing with the dash not being mapped to... Like, working the same way as the slide. Because you won't actually accidentally dash. But it happens anyways, probably more because of how it is... There's just no way to fix it. <sighs> the X-Series had it the best. Because it was pretty much... I mean, X is pretty much an evolution of... From Classic to X. And with an another two buttons to the controller... Of course it's going to be easier to dash. Oh my god, is this... I'm not even trying to like... Yeah, here works fine. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I really don't like using the safe states to play games, because stuff like this happens. For this game, it's hard not to when you have access to it, because it's just... It's an already hard game with screen crunch, because it's, it was ported to a handheld. It's like taking... It was a hard game. Oh my god, I just thought of something that that is going to terrify me going forward. X6 with screen crunch. No thank you. Now I have to think of something better than that. The Zelda 2 on screen with screen crunch. That's a good one. Now that is scary. I'm just gonna jump and, like, jump as I move, and I'm too slow, and I slide. I think I'm getting ready to call it quits already. I mean, three hours is a bit... Are you kidding me? That's not, that's not even the right one. Like, that leads us a hidden area? What? reason why I've been going with that one. Now I want to go there now. Uh, making it harder on myself when I've had an awful time going up. Why? Damn my curiosity. How can I still find things to talk about? Three hours in. Like over a hundred streams I've been through now. More than that, probably over 150 because some are gone now.
God! All I needed to do was go a little bit more to the left. Okay, I gotta speed up now. Too slow. Too slow at the end. Emma! Oh, he's leaving now. Well, at least he's stuck around for a little bit. Now my timing is off because it appears sooner than I'm used to. Oh. Is there a ladder there? That's my only guess, because why would it... Oh, this is real good. It was real good. This is not good. This is good. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. Why? Are you kidding me? <sighs> I guess the previous owner of this game already got it. <laughs> that is so disappointing. I went through hell to get it. What? That's... Definitely the harder version. I guess that CD isn't very important. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna remember this song with these noises. The Yoku blocks. Like, this part is perfect when it starts. It literally is! Like, perfect timing with the song. My mic isn't really close to me. And I looked away. I looked away because of... Oh. Wait, that's, that's not the same one. I like that. I like how it changes. <laughs> I mean, this is literally the Ocarina of Time. <laughs> the Ocarina puzzle at the start of the game. Speaking of which, now when I'm done. No, of course. Oh, I thought this. I mistook the Zero video for the X6 video. Because I. I was excited because I I would finally be able to release or finish up the fishing minigame video. But I want the X6 video to be done first because I'm gonna use footage from that video. So, I don't know, I feel... Okay, I think it's time for Eddie and Rush to help. If I'll be alive by then. No! Come on! <laughs> Why? Oh, God! Why are these spikes here? Purple, that's weird. Maybe I just suck so much at this game. It could be that. Maybe I'm. It's not. It's not the screen crunch and difficulty. Maybe it's just me being bad. Maybe it's because I'm talking 
50% of the time playing this. <sighs> this is a nice background. I like how... You know how so many platform... You know how so many platformers have the character you play as just have a sound effect when you jump? Mega Man, on the, on the other hand, has a sound effect when he lands. Well, there is a jump sound effect too, but... The land one is more noticeable. Guy. No, I was the fool. Ah! Ah! Okay, that's fine. I think I'm gonna call it quits after this. Now that I think about it, I think there's a reason why the ammo. The ammo doesn't return if you exit a stage. Because if that was the case, you could just farm... Farm screws with this guy. With Eddie. All day. Oh, I was hoping Rush would fly up. We all have bad days. <laughs> this one just happens to be yours. Is that an, Am <laughs> an America hat? This game was released only in Japan. Why? What? And again. <sighs> Pretty sure. Dr. Linus American. Does that mean Wily is American too? Because it's based off Albert Einstein, so... <laughs> I really like that. I know Dr. Light is based off someone. I just don't remember who. Digging. <laughs> you know, I'm actually I actually don't mind this too much. You get to laugh at his animations when you fail. <laughs> now we head up. I head up. Wow. They have something pretty interesting with this floor gimmick, and then just the stage ends. Oh, come on, that's not cool. Are you gonna tease me like this? You know, with this this here... That makes me think the magic car is gonna be the weakness. Eh, I have infinite tries. I've been awake for like since 11, so like close to 12 hours, half a day. So I could use some sleep. Tangle Blade? I couldn't tell if that hit or not. No. That's not it. Yeah, that was my only option though. Alright. Let's see if I remember. What I'm supposed to do here. 
I know you can get him in a pattern. When I looked up how to defeat him. How do I do it now again? I don't feel like looking it up again. I don't have it for the choice, so... I really like this whole countdown he has set up, though. It really sucks not being able to hear his voice from 8. He has one of the best vo voices in the game. These guys drop health, because that would be very nice. I don't remember. How am I supposed to beat this guy? <laughs> that was a pattern that like had him very easily defeatable. Then again, that same person called called a uh, round man easy. Yeah, when you can dash. And you know what's coming up. Okay, so not hit the orbs. No. God! I have to move them. I do like this though, but having to attack the top of them with the orb he's in. Why is that orb for? Why does he have it? It's literally, it's literally Cloud Man, but space themed. <laughs> I am so ready to call it quits after this fight. Oh, this is perfect. No, it's not, because he's invulnerable with this. Why? We have enough invulnerability frames with invulnerability with Round Man in the roster. Hold on, I guess I guess base has one boss that's easier with him. Because <laughs> this guy just ah. I really don't feel prepared for this or like in the mood. I just thought of quitting soon, and... I mean, it's been three hours of Mega Man base. I actually feel amazed that I managed to, like, play X6 for four hours. Man, I... Hating on X6 is a running gag for me at this part. At this point. God, why? This part is so long. He takes so long to. Sp I'm trying new weapons. There has to be some. There has to be one weapon that doesn't go by rules. Ooh. That looked like it did quite a bit of damage. I saved it. Okay. It's no big deal. But I'm hungry. I'm tired. And I kinda wanna... I kinda don't wanna go back and forth anymore. Save states. Burr. I have to say though, it is a little disappointing how you can't look at the images you take. Because if I look in the file manager, snapshot, there's... That one was by accident. I kind of wanted to f delete that. So you can delete them, but you can't view them. Like, would have been perfect if, like, where you see the... 
where you see like the square where you see the game or it says re <laughs> if that would replace with the image I want to see what the snapshot from Harry Potter collection is <laughs> I want to see it dang it I don't own that game so obvious bionic command that one I can tell is from me mm. That one too, when I was testing out the games. This one too. Oh wow. <laughs> he had two versions of Sapphire? No, I don't think that's what is. I have no clue. Well, if that's for Game, game Boy Advance, there has to be a lot. Damn. Nothing for Genesis. Sad Boy Hours, Sega. This one isn't surprising because with the ad, they had an image showing ice hockey being played. Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 4, cool. Unknown game. <laughs> Chip and Dale. That is so... I was so surprised when I found out that that's what they were called. Like, mainly called, because the Swedish name for them are just silly and just... Very similar and very different from their actual names. So I was quite surprised when I found out that they were... I mean, one of them is literally called Dale. That's an old man's name. <laughs> I'm mainly thinking about Dale from The Walking Dead because that's the most recognizable Dale I can think of. Oh boy, I love looking at screenshots, screenshots. That's my fa Screenshots is my favorite console. <laughs> Why are there just two screenshot files? Did I check SNES? The Lion King. Classic right there. Goof Troop! Oh hell yeah. Oh, Germany, what? I guess this is saves. No, it says snap. I wanna, I wanna get these. I guess I have to get an SD card to check them out. I mean, if they can have all of this, why couldn't they have a way to showcase the screenshots? I mean, literally take it with the console. Why would? Why is there no way to see it on the console? <sighs> yeah. I got nothing else. I kind of like the idea of having Luminate there by default. Because <laughs> it is... It fits with the rest of what I have for the screen. It looks awesome. And it's a ray of hope for the series. When it comes to the story, at least. Maybe I could, like... I don't know, I'm thinking about Wily Wars, because... 
I guess it's best to wait if I get a refund for the Silent Hill collection that's been that's a month late. Speaking of which, I should re reply to the message I got from the seller. Well, it was a good thing I kept the stream going, so I remembered that. But I don't want to keep it running. I'm just dragging this out. I don't know why. I I want to get some food going, <laughs> but I kind of have a hard time closing this off. Well, tomorrow... <sighs> yeah, tomorrow there won't be any. Weekend... Well, Saturday should be fine. Sunday depends on when I... leave... from my dad's with Nemo. How much longer until next month? Uh, 11 days, alright. Will I be able to beat Prime 1? <laughs> Maybe. Well, all I have to beat is Prime 1, because I can do... I can do... Wily Wars when it gets... Like, Path of Radiance gets slow. Or when I feel like playing so streaming Wily Wars instead. The games are, like, one to two hours long. Ugh. <sighs> I'm just going to stop it now before I start going for another two minutes.